Hi, I'm Dr. Peacock. This morning we're going to go over a mental invasive correction of Halitavirus from Iatrogenic Halitavirus. Uh, just to give you an indication, uh, this is a good video to kind of, I want to compare basically traditional procedure to a MIS procedure. Uh, with, with this particular patient, on her, on her foot that was corrected very well, we did and performed a, a mental invasive surgery on her left foot. We'll show you the results of that. On her right foot, a couple years before she came to see us, she had a traditional surgery done by another provider who performed an osteotomy and the patient developed a hallux varus. Now, of course, hallux varus can be, can, can be a, a complication from minimally invasive surgery or traditional, but we can correct a hallux varus with a minimally invasive procedure fairly easy. So this is a, kind of a multi-purpose video here. Most of it will concentrate on trying to show you how to correct how it's various mental invasive surgery with mental invasive surgery. Let me show you her x-rays and now first I want to show you when under the hot light here just to give you an idea how how bad the, the correction she got with the traditional surgery was. You can see how just how how much various attitude her, her how it has. She had an osteotomy form here, there's two there's screw fixation here. So the, this is becoming very painful and she's getting a hammer toe uh, problem here and the hallux as well. So this is a multifunctional thing we'll have to correct. Okay, here's an examination of the patient here. Here's a picture we took preoperatively. This is the uh, foot she had the traditional surgery done on. And you can see, uh, look at all the scars she has. This is a fairly young girl. She actually got a lot of shortening of her, of her bone as well here. And her hallux is very short. Uh, she had a fairly significant, looked like a mid-shaft osteotomy performed uh, and two screw fixation. A lot of hallux varus issues here. Uh, so let me show you, let me just give you a head-to-head -head comparison of her other foot, and we'll show you a picture of that as well in a second here. Uh, for her other foot, when she came in, this was the bunion that she had uh, on her right foot, and we corrected that with a minimally invasive surgery with uh, percutaneous fixation. And look how nice this, this, this turned out to be. This is uh, a week or so later. This is the pre-op. And you can see for this, for, for the, the minimally invasive result, look how much better correction we got using minimally invasive surgery here. So this is her foot about six weeks later. You don't have all that shortening and all that you got with that. Of course, I'm, I'm going to show you a lateral too because people always ask for a lateral. This shows the cut here. This is a, this is a procedure, this is a, more of a modified MIS procedure where I made a small incision and did a, a, per, a, a small Alston and did a percutaneous pin fixation. Uh, so with minimally invasive surgery, here's a, here's a photograph here I want to show you uh, that just shows minimally invasive surgery head to head. If you look at her left foot on our uh, picture here, you can see this, was, this, this foot was done with, um, with a traditional procedure by another provider. Got a fairly bad varus deformity here. And we performed surgery on the right foot, minimally invasive, and got a good correction. So what we're gonna do today we're going to utilize minimally invasive surgery to correct the hallux varus problem she has on the left foot. And we're going to show you a step-by-step -step process of that. The surgery is fairly simple. It starts with a soft tissue uh, performance of an abductor tenotomy, and then we do a reverse Aiken on the hallux, followed by a reverse Ischem Revirden on the, uh, on the metatarsal. Okay, here we are. We're going to correct this hallux uh, varus issue with minimally invasive surgery. First part of the procedure we want to do is we want to address uh, transsectinal abductor uh, uh, lucis, a muscle tendon here. And most of these patients, this will be tight. If you blow the foot, you can actually palpate that tendon fairly easy. Uh, and it sometimes can be kind of far down. If you have trouble locating, when the patient's standing, you could actually mark it ahead of time. But it's right there. I can feel like that. So we'll make a small incision right there. And this is just, you know, through the skin. Once you make the incision, you take a, a, a straight hemostat. You're going to fish out your tendon. And you can see the tendon structure coming through, this, through the surgical site now. So that's our abductors, hallucis muscle tendon structure. Once you have that out, it's ready to transect. Okay, to, to transect the muscle, uh, tendon structure, all you do is you take your 15 and go ahead and transect that out. So you've made a tiny incision here. Look at the big toe. You can see it all, already kind of going back lateral. See how it went back lateral? See how that went? So just with that one 
soft tissue correction, you've got a lot of correction back lateral. Now another option is to go into your joint and release it here, but I try to avoid that because a lot of people that with, with this type of problem actually have pain in the joint, so that's what brings them in, so I don't want to go back into that joint and alter that. So I think this is a lot safer to do. So you're done, done with that part of the procedure, so you're halfway done. Okay, this part of the procedure is already complete, so we just put one suture in there and that should hold that, just a, just a skin suture. If you look at her foot now, you can see it's already a lot better, it's nowhere near the... Uh, her foot or toes not all over like it was immediately. So this is a good way to start the procedure and see what kind of correction you need at the, uh, at the joint up here. So this part is our minimally invasive part we're going to do with, the, uh, with our minimally invasive techniques. You can see where her, her toe is, is still out a little bit medial. And a lot of these people get a little uh, hammer toe in the hallux as well. And the way, we're going to the way we treat that is that we're actually going to do a, a kind of a bi cut here, kind of a bi a cut this in two planes. We're going to, we're going to move her toe over, but we're also going to move this part up. So we're going to take a little bit of a wedge uh, from, from actually the dorsal aspect of this toe and pull that down. So we're going to straighten this toe out like that. And that way, with mainly basic surgery, we can do more 3D type of corrections. Now, this is all under the ultra, the, this C arm. So I'm going to show you how we make sure we make our placements in the right position. Incision right in this area right here. And we're doing this under uh, fluoroscopy. So we put it, we're gonna do a percutaneous incision down to the, to the bone. Now, some people go ahead and use a 67 blade to dissect, which you can do. What I normally do is I normally take this, uh, this instrument here as a smaller rasp and go through there, okay now? So we're gonna go through our incision here and just underscore this, I'm right against the bone here. That takes my soft tissue out of the way. And then we'll come underneath and we're going to underscore here like this. So we got a soft tissue and the vessels all out of the way. Now at this point, we were up on the tourniquet here for this. We may get some venous flushing, but we'll go down the tourniquet because we want the, the tourniquet down when we start using the burr. So now we're going to go down the tourniquet. We're now going to start the minimally invasive part here. Now we've already got our underscore here. No tourniquet is on now. We, we did an ankle block, so there's no, no issue with vessels here. What I'm going to do is go in here. We're going to go to the bottom here. Remember, we're taking more of a wedge plantarly, so we took this toe down and over. Okay, ready? Now, this is me starting with uh, my pilot hole into the hallux here. I do have my burr on now. I don't run the burr real fast. I think a real slow movement is probably the best way to do the burr. So I, I make sure I've got the exact angle I want to be in. At this point, we're working our way through the osteotomy. It takes a few minutes. You see, it's almost through. So we're going to kind of be keeping the uh, medial dorsal part intact. And you can always check this. Look at her C-arm. You can see where you see the toes are already going down already. But look at the look at the C-arm. You see my cut. Here's my cut. Here, if you look inside, see the angle I've got it at. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting through this meat, this lateral part. I'm leaving the dorsal medial part intact so the toe goes down and over to the lateral side. At this point, what I'm going to do, I've got my cut through, but I've, I've got this medial dorsal intact. I'm going to basically use my other hand to kind of push the toe where I want to, and that will remove some of the lateral cortex. Once again, you don't have to go real fast to the bird. Let, this, let the bird do the work. It's not a, something you got to go real fast doing. You can just kind of take your time into the soft tissue. You can actually feel it with your finger. So now I've got what I've got is a, a little cortex intact on the medial side with a wedge plantarly. And now you can see the toe starting to take on a more normal position. So we don't get that hump out of the toe as well. See how the hump's going down? So here's our cut in, the, in, our, in our bone here. You can see we've got a, a cut lateral and we've got a dorsal medial um, cortex intact. At this point, we're going to green stick fracture the toe. And use that as a fulcrum, you can green stick fracture this. You know, little, it's a little snapping, you can actually feel it. So the green stick this down laterally and also plantarly to take the hump out of our toe here. So now the hump's out of the toe and the toe's over lateral. So now we got a much better improved uh, joint function and, uh, and position of this bone. So the, now the leg must going to pull uh, you know, in a more pro appropriate manner. I do normally milk some of the uh, slight bit of the um, paste out, but unlike some of the minimally invasive stuff where we're taking bump off, 
you want some of the paste in there. You just don't want it in soft tissue uh, because that kind of acts sort of as a, as a bone graft in a way for your osteo. We reverse our ice from Revirden to kind of get our, to make sure we have good closure of this joint back this way to the lateral side. You can see we're marking exactly where we go on the C arm. So we got our mark in here. We're gonna make our stab incision here. We're actually distal to our, our previous fixation, which is kind of important, so you gotta know exactly where you're at. We're just gonna make our incision down to the bone here and hit on our bone right here. At this point, basically what I do is use, once again, the, I use a little tiny rasp to kind of get the soft tissue away, go right down to the, to the bony structures, and we're gonna peel away our periosteal structures and also our, um, also the capsule area. So it's fairly easily done. You can actually feel all this. The tendon's definitely on top of my instrument here. And go through that way. You don't need a lot of resection here. You're going to monitor most of this under with, with, a, with a fluoroscopy. And so that's all the dissection you're going to need. We're going to go from about this area and we'll end up uh, more, more uh, you know, we're behind the, the sesamoids, we'll end up more in the dorsal aspect. So we're going to make, take a wedge out to, to place this uh, bone more laterally. cut through the metatarsal. I'm going to now take a wedge out and push the metatarsal head over uh, this way. I distracted that out so you could see what we're doing with the uh, metatarsal. Our, lateral, our medial cortex intact. We've done this just in front of our fixation so that when we green stick this over, this is going to give us a little better angle and more a better pull of our, our tendons here. So now we got a lot of the we have a lot of the correction already. Uh, take a view real quick at our, our C arm uh, for loss. We can see we got a good closure down. Uh, so this should actually, I don't want to close it too much more than that. That's going to be pretty good. Now, one thing I do when I do these, you don't have to use K wires, but because we still have our, uh, plant, our plantar tendon is going to be pulling, it could make our toe go back in more of a hammer position because we do have a through and uh, mostly a through and through osteotomy. And th when I do have, when I do house rest, I do pin this osteotomy, mean, not the uh, not the first met with this, just so that our, if, when, if we do have pull in our tendon, it won't it'll prevent the hammer toe from coming back. So it pulls down here and it, it'll correct this uh, this osteotomy here in the best way possible. Now, is we're going to fixate our osteotomy on the hallux. We're doing this under uh, frost. We can see where the tendon's still pulling down. So you're going you can use your fingers to manipulate it where you want it. And you start with that. And, and go from there. So basically we're going to kind of go ahead and fixate this down. Holding the toe where we want it to be. Getting through the osteotomy now. Now at this point what I do is uh, make sure I'm in the right spot under my C arm here. What I basically did was uh, take a wedge out of the uh, hallux, transposition it over uh, laterally, so that we have better pull with our flexor muscles. We've closed down the uh, osteum on the, on the uh, first ray too. And now you can see her foot now, look at this. Look how much better her foot looks now, appearance-wise. Even loaded, that toe's gonna be in a much better position. We've gotten the hump out. The osteum is gonna serve two, uh, two, correct, two issues here. So I also move the toe into a more rectus position. Also allow me to take a wedge out plantarly to, to straighten out the hammer toe as well. So I actually created the hammer toe, hallux varus, and also got her put in a more, more anatomically better position.